George Galloway was due to give a speech to Toronto's Stop the War Coalition later this month, but after an open letter of protest from Canada's Jewish Defence League, he's been declared inadmissible under the country's Immigration Act. They say he supports terrorists. He says he supports the democratically elected Hamas government of Palestine. In a moment, Mr Galloway confronts the man who wanted him banned, but first, here's Sue Turton. Hamas supporter, anti-war campaigner, big brother clown, and, as of today, infandus street corner Cromwell. The flowery description given to the honourable member for Bethnal Green and Bow by Canada's Immigration Department. Its spokesman made it very clear today that Mr Galloway was not welcome there. In case you were wondering, infandus means too odious for words. On the phone this evening, he told me why the MP was banned from entering Canada's borders. Mr Galloway has, um, is on the record bragging about providing financial support to Hamas, an organization which is a banned terrorist organization in Canada. It's actually quite odious, and I think it's entirely appropriate for our security agencies to say that if, uh, if, if they have advance notice that Mr Galloway is going to come to Canada to pee on our carpet, that we should deny him entry to the home. Just last week, Mr Galloway was in Gaza, handing over money and vehicles to Hamas officials. He told them... We are giving you now a hundred vehicles and all of their contents, and we make no apology for what I am about to say. We are giving them to the elected government of Palestine. Canada considers Hamas a terrorist organisation, not a legitimate elected government. The MP was going to Canada later this month to address a public forum called Resisting War from Gaza to Kandahar. Canada has 2,700 troops in Kandahar. 112 Canadians have died there since 2002. The Canadian mission in Afghanistan is highly contentious back home, with huge political and public support for a complete withdrawal. But the Canadian Border Security Agency has a whole catalogue of reasons why they won't let Mr Galloway in. Our border security officials have um, examined his record, have examined his uh, public statements, have examined the intelligence they have, and they've determined that on the whole he um, falls afoul of numerous criteria in our, um, in our immigration laws. What sort of so, criteria are they? Um, they uh, involve everything from um, providing material support to terrorist groups, um, uh, instigating the uh, armed overthrow of uh, foreign governments, um, engaging in subversion against democratic governments, all of these criteria are spelled and out. Are you the saying that he has instigated the overthrow of a foreign government? I, I, I'm, I'm not saying anything of that kind. It's our border security um, agencies. I have never seen a barrel of oil, owned one, bought one. He had no such one. problems getting into the I States, but he was there to defend himself in Congress against charges that he profited from the Iraq Oil for Food program. Sir, I salute your courage your strength, your indefatigability. CD. Never known to shy away from controversial figures, Mr Galloway has said he wants to challenge those who deem Hamas terrorists. But he's not going to get the opportunity in Canada. Well, George Galloway is here, and Mayor Weinstein, director of the Jewish Defence League in Canada, joins us from Toronto. Uh, Mr Weinstein, you don't really think this man's a threat to national security, do you? Excuse me? Do you really think he's a threat to national security? Absolutely. Why? He's, uh, he is a threat to uh, national security of, uh, of Canada. Uh, the reason why is because uh, a couple of reasons. Um, his unyielding support for the Hamas and the uh, Hezbollah. He is a uh, proxy agent uh, of these organizations. On his very website, he, written an, he wrote an article where he says, I glorify Hezbollah and I glorify the leader of Hezbollah, Nasrallah. Also, uh, just a short while ago, he gave money to the head of the Hamas organization in Gaza. Uh, and he has given speeches encouraging uh, the building of tunnels and the bombings and any man who supports Hamas the way he does and Hezbollah the way he does uh, is in favor of educating children 
to uh, become suicide okay. bombers. Let me and just, he's a danger to this country. Let me just introduce you to George Galloway. What would you say? Well, when they gazetted this decision in the Sun this morning, which tells you a lot about the kind of government they have in Canada, they said it was about Afghanistan. Uh, so I don't know what the Jewish Defense League has to do with that, although I'm happy to debate Palestine and Lebanon with him. Tony Blair met with Hezbollah just yesterday. Uh, the British government has just announced that it's resuming talks with Hezbollah. And the reason is obvious, as we found in Northern Ireland. You can't pick and choose who other people have to represent them. And both Hamas and Hezbollah have the benefit, unlike your guest in Canada, of being a democratically elected political force. Now, I think the reference to Hamas is about the aid convoy that we took to Palestine. Hundreds of British people, all British citizens, in more than 100 British vehicles, delivering aid to starving people who don't have the means of staying alive otherwise because of the siege. Uh, the people to whom we gave the aid were the elected representatives of the Palestinian people. As one democratic politician, I handed the keys to these vehicles to another democratic politician. But lots of governments around the world say they're terrorists. I mean, well, this is our government. They say it today, but they won't say it tomorrow, as you know very well. If we speak to Hezbollah yesterday, we'll be speaking to Hamas tomorrow. Mr. Weinstein. Hamas and Hezbollah is listed by the Canadian government as terrorist organizations. Uh, as far as democracy goes, it's, a, it's a how democracy is subverted. Uh, you could say Adolf Hitler was democratically elected uh, in Germany but, by the German people. But what's wrong and, uh, with free and, uh, speech is the point. Million, before we, before we get Jews, into... Uh, and uh, I'm, sor I'm sorry, but I have to finish my point. And six million Jews were murdered then by the Nazis. The point is that Hamas says that in their, in their charter, that is, it, is, it is their goal to destroy Israel and to kill Jews where they are. That's in their charter. But what, what is wrong with free speech? What is wrong with... We should support Hamas... This is not an issue of free speech. It's under the criminal code that uh, you cannot give financial support and you cannot uh, support Hamas and Hezbollah. It's a criminal offense in Canada, and therefore well, he's barred from you Canada. Know, uh, I'm a five times elected British member of parliament. I speak in Canada every year in all the major cities. I've done and said nothing in the last 12 months since I was in Canada that would warrant this decision. And they'll have to defend it in court because the organizers of the tour, the public that did want to hear me, are going for a judicial review of this decision. But do you think this is really about Afghanistan? I think and, it's really and, and about the popularity the, of Canadian troops. There, I think it's really about the upcoming Canadian elections in which the neocon pro Bush government of Canada is about to be gutted, just like the US Republicans were. Uh, Mr. Weinstein? Well, listen, listen, we are, we are extremely determined to uncover any proxy agents of Hamas and Hezbollah, and we've been successful right now in regards to Mr. Galloway. Well, you don't have to and uncover me. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm an these open organizations. Book. We will be looking into these organizations in Canada that have invited him. Uh, their links to terror groups as well. Oh, that's, the mandate that's a very serious defense. threat. I was actually to speak in the uh, one of the major churches in Toronto, so there's just a warning there that they're going to be looked into. This is the kind of government for the moment that Canada has. The good yeah. news is the election's coming up we soon, make, and they're going to be sure swept away, the, uh, just like the Bush government we that sure they were that the, the terrible hate twin that the uh, Hamas organization teaches will not reach children in Canada. Mm. And we're going to do our utmost to see to it that uh, proxies of Radical Iran are kept away from Canada. Okay, well, are you going to go? Are you going to try and get in there? I'll be there on the border, and if I can't cross the border, then I'll address those who want to hear me in Canada by other means. There are plenty of other means. We're not at the mercy of uh, uh, of your and friend in, uh, and in Toronto. And if he uses those so, other means, so if he uses those other means, we will see to it that the Canadian government will be monitoring every individual and organization that will have anything to do with it. Again, no funding well, from Canada. Okay, it sounds like it's going to be a battle of the loud hailers. These, these, keen, these are very venal and brute threats which are being made by your guest against Christian groups and other peace groups in Canada. And that tells you all you need to know really about them. My views on Afghanistan are that I want to save Canadian and British and American and other NATO troops from needless and pointless deaths. I want to bring them home. Whether you agree with me on that or not, surely I have the right to speak about it. And a debate is what's required. And you can't get debate by excluding people. Is, on that uh, note... This is not a freedom of speech issue.
I'm, I'm afraid we. Freedom of speech issue. I'm afraid there on that we that have to leave it there. Mr. Mr. Weinstein, thank you very much indeed for joining us. George Galloway, thank you.